What is Solana rent? How do we claim it back? What do we do with it? This is a quick tutorial just covering that. Firstly, let's jump into our Soulflare wallet. This would apply, of course, to Backpack or Phantom. I'm just using Soulflare. When you've got a token in here, all these tokens, there's a certain amount of soul that you actually pay in order to allow the token basically a, a spot in your wallet. Imagine a garage. You've got a garage and you can put one car in there. Then if you want to put in more cars, you have to pay a little bit extra to extend the garage. Then if you sell a car or no longer need a car, if you want to, you can then close it. So rent is a small amount of soul. So as an example right now, there's basically no drift in here, right? I can't actually go and close this account because there is a small amount of drift in here. But if I go down a little bit further, you'll see I have JLP. So I've got zero JLP and I can close this account. I can close this in Soulflare. I can't close this with Phantom, but I can close it in this wallet. So we're gonna close this and then we'll go here and then we'll click on this. So here you can see we've got the small amount of Solana back and 0.002 Sol. So here we can see it's basically 35 cents. Of course, Sol is currently $175. If Sol's $500, then it's gonna be in USD value. It's gonna be more. It's gonna be like 90 cents or whatever that may be. Now we can also use a couple of other tools such as Sol Incinerator. I've already done a tutorial on this, but I'll quickly show you here. Go and connect Soulflare and connect. We can go to cleanup and we have all these vacant accounts. This is quite a few vacant accounts. And if we close them all, we will get back a decent amount of soul. Let's just jump back into Soulflare and we can see we've got quite a few tokens here. And I actually don't know what all of these are. I've changed wallets now. This only has 11. And the reason why I've changed is because I don't wanna go and close token accounts if I'm unsure what they're for, just in case they're used in some sort of liquidity farming or the, some sort of LP token, and I may need them in the future to get back whatever LP tokens I put in. That's normally not the case, but just to be sure, I'm avoiding it. So here, what I can do is go and confirm them, and there's 11 tokens here, and I'm getting back $3.80. Approve, and you can see I've just regained this soul. Now, in the future, if I wanted to receive that token again, all I have to do is just go to dupe and do a swap, or just go in-app and do a swap for whatever token that was, and I'll just pay the rent again. So Soul Incinerator is one option. The Soulflare Wallet is another option. And another option is just Step.Finance. So let's just click here, Step.Finance, and then click See Your Portfolio. I have a dedicated tutorial on Step Finance, by the way. You should go and watch that just to learn about your portfolio tracking. We'll connect our Soulflare and connect. And this is gonna show us the value of this wallet. It will pretty much track everything. Sometimes there'll be some liquidity pools that it won't. Maybe there's like an NFT staked somewhere that it's not gonna see. But you can see this one's worth about 2,600. And over here on the left, we've got accounts. There's no token accounts to close because we already closed them. What I'll do is I'll swap to a different wallet. We'll go to Drift. We'll connect this one, Soulflare, and connect. And now we can close these accounts if we want. Now something like Flash LP, I'm not gonna close this one because maybe I need it in the future. Maybe I can just create the token account again when I withdraw funds out of flash.trade. However, I don't want to take that risk, so I just wouldn't close it. Now, if we use Step Finance, it does charge a 5% fee for the service, but I'm completely fine with it. Their portfolio track is absolutely amazing. They do a lot of cool stuff in the ecosystem, and I can close them individually. So I can close all these ones here, and I can just select which ones I want to. Soul Incinerator is great, but it doesn't have this unique option. The Vault Stake Soul. I'll actually reject that because I like the Vault VSOL. Mew, this is a meme coin. I'm not going to use this again. Banks, probably not going to use that again. LST, I could use this again in the future. If I do, I can always pay the rent again. And you can see we're just claiming back all of our different tokens. And we just keep approving them. For some reason, I'm seeing a different amount here. There's probably some sort of batching or something like that that's happening with me clicking things too quickly but it doesn't really matter because we know we're getting back approximately 34 cents. And just to be clear, we can always just reopen these in the future. So as an example, I just closed PIF. If I jump into my Soulflare wallet, you can see my balance has increased. If I jump into this here, I can go and buy some PIF. I can buy like 50 cents worth of PIF, swap, confirm, and then have a look at this transaction here. Click on it and we can see we repaid the rent once again. The soul was taken directly from our wallet. To end, sometimes it might just be faster just to go ahead and close the account just like this in Soulflare and it returns the full amount to you. There are other options out there. 
but they tend to take a much larger fee, like 20% or 15%. So I think between these three, you're completely covered. One of the best times to close accounts is when you're no longer gonna use a particular wallet. Maybe in the past, you just started to create a whole lot of wallets in Soulflare, and then you started to move the assets to a different ledger address, and then you wanted a new seed phrase in your Soulflare so that you don't have to worry about having 50 wallets. Or in my case, I have over like 150. In which case, you move the assets out, you close the rent account, and you get back that soul. The final thing to note is there's no time limit, as far as I'm aware, on closing your rent. However, if you have lots of wallets, you may find it's worth going through all of them, claiming all the soul back, pulling it together, and of course, staking it. And stake it with validator.com. That's all for this tutorial. Catch you in the next one.